Yo, what is going on guys, it's Crypto TMG and I'm back with a brand new video and this time I'm going to be doing something a little bit different I just wanted to test the older Lamborghini around Zambort and I just wanted to see if the, the older cars have got a, a good enough BOP to challenge the, the brand new cars obviously we've got the new Lamborghini Evo, the new Audi, Aston and so on and I just wanted to see if the older cars are still relevant um, especially on the new patch, the 2019 sort of track grip and cars and I know I think Kudos have created a sort of a custom BOP for some of the older cars so I want to see if they, they can still compete so I'm going to be running the old Lamborghini I've already made the setup for it um, it was a setup I did for someone who had a league race round round here with the older Lamborghini so I'm going to run this car first and then I'm going to see what the new Evo is like and maybe we can compare the setups a little bit and compare sort of uh, where the, the the main improvements of the car have been made especially just by driving it by feel myself and yeah hopefully we can um we can spot the differences and how differently we have to set the two cars up even though it's you know it's just the evolution of the older car but i'm expecting that beginning to have made some drastic improvements in just how the car handles how the car feels so yeah let's get stuck into this so this is a setup i previously made for somebody else so um yeah let's see how it drives <coughs> Obviously I'm recording this live, so hopefully I don't uh, completely suck. Lamborghini always been a car that I've enjoyed to drive. It is quite difficult though, especially in a race. Broke a bit too late into turn one. This setup was actually built for a race, so it is quite easy to drive now. Uh, when I took the Lamborghini out originally, the older one, it was definitely a bit of a death trap. See, lots of understeer there. Back in, trying to come around in Austin. Quite a tricky corner that one, you've got to be very patient on the exit. A little bit of understeer. Last corner quite easily flat. Again, outbroken ourselves. Probably not the best conditions I've picked. These are actually the conditions for Spa in our league race, which was pretty damn hot. I just want to get a feel of how the car handles. Slightly easier to get most of our braking done in third gear. The car stays a little bit more stable. Whoops.
a little bit more understeer, so we try to turn in just a little bit earlier into the corner. as if we're actually better going down to first gear out of that corner. Seem to get more acceleration on the exit. Lost a load of time there. And the back end completely kills us. After a couple of laps, I think I may have made the track a little too hot. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I wouldn't say it was incredibly hard to drive, but there was moments where I had to sort of hold on quite a bit. And um, the rear end does seem to step out just a little bit. And this is a setup that I've, I've actually made pretty safe. Um, I made it actually a little bit more understeery just to deal with uh, the, the long right hander where when I tried this car on stock it just used to just spin out. As soon as you got to the long right hander it was just spinning out um, pretty difficult to actually to actually control. So um, yeah it's a tricky one. I may have to go down in the ride height a little and that will make it a little bit safer but still we need the car to turn in. What we will do though, what I'll try so I'm actually going to knock the brake bias down. We need to somehow get the, the front end of the car into, into the corners more without compromising the, the balance and making it too sketchy on turning. So let's see, we're going to put this up to 10. And let's, let's go again. Obviously, these are not the best sort of settings for hot lapping or getting the perfect lap basically how it works on a set of course the colder it is the faster you'll go so if I was to knock this down to like 15 16 then you'd probably probably be doing low 35s just because of how it works in this game but, um, <clears throat> let's see let's try this setup With a little bit more wing now, I can definitely feel a little bit more understeer for the last corner. Keep breaking way too late. Still up though. Much tighter to the Apex that time. Again, completely stepped out and did it again. So it might be me just breaking a little bit too late into that corner, but you've got to be really patient. You, you want to sort of break a little, a little bit late, and get a, take a late apex, but you have to be very careful on the brakes. But we'll go again because we did mess up the first corner anyway. Would have been a scary crash in real life. Let's just go again. <clears throat> I 
this car is so much almost like risk and reward it's a rapid car but um, it does come with a risk but if you can get it right then you'll be flying Really struggling that turn one at the minute. a little bit earlier A bit of understeer for the last corner. Improved by a tenth. We just chucked away a 35.9 there. I think with all potential we can definitely hit the 35s um, I'm actually just gonna save over what I had and let's have a look at the the new Lamborghini Evo I think I've got like a base set up on there um, when it first came out I tried it briefly um, we'll see what liveries we have here oh yes let's go And uh, let's load up. Yes, base. Um, probably gonna have to knock some of these down with it being a little too hot. So on the uh, on the other Lambo was running free free. Um, not too dissimilar. I think this is on this is on eight. And again, we, the ride height seems to be much higher. Let's put the brake ducts both on four. Running 10 wing on both, and let's see what the difference is here. And my initial impressions to the difference in um, how the car handles. Way easier for the last corner. Nowhere near as much understeer. Brakes felt a lot better too. He 
even the pickup of the throttle seems a little less oversteery, but that could be set up. That's the Lamborghini we all know and love. Right there. What I should do is I should try and put on the exact same setup as what I've got. And see if it works. Um, I believe this is actually on 11. That's on 5. That's on 8. I actually can't remember what the preload was on. This is up here. This is on is it 40. Close to. I want to get as close as possible. And I really can't remember what, what I did with the dampers. I think this was pretty damn close and obviously the ride height was down at 60 and more than likely I would have put this up to about 5 I think alright let's, let's go again but I can tell on the brakes there's a big big difference seems to slow down so much quicker Heading up to the tricky part of the circuit where we spun before. Definitely easier to control. But is it faster? Does it feel easier to drive because it's not as quick? Interesting. So the first lap we haven't actually managed to beat the old Rambo. And that actually seemed pretty tricky to drive compared to this. This is definitely an easier car to drive. No doubt about it. Back end seems more planted. The brakes are better. Ooh, 
the stair. I'll have to go for another lap. We'll try to put the brake bias down a little bit. Right, that felt better. The car just seems to rotate better without all the sketchiness. Even putting your foot down seems so much easier in this car. I feel like that is the one corner where it does struggle though, compared to the older Lamborghini. So much better for the last corner there. So you managed to beat the uh, lap time just about. It's interesting. I would say you can definitely still compete in the old Lamborghini around Zanfort, definitely. But you're probably more likely to crash. Um, if I'm 100% honest, I probably think there's probably more time in the old Lambo um, compared to the new one. If you was to go like properly head to head, um, what I need, what I should have done is just made the exact same setup. I could have run them both on aggressive, but the problem when I think when people do sort of a comparison on just the aggressive setups, some aggressive setups are better than others. So um, I like to actually have a setup that I know that I can drive and push. So I actually get a true reading and I, I feel like the uh, the old Lambo definitely has some pace, man. Um, but again, it's an incredibly sketchy car. This Lamborghini, the new one, the Lamborghini Evo definitely feels a lot safer and a lot more secure. And probably in the long run, in a race, it's probably going to be better. You, you may be able to out qualify the times that the Lamborghini Evo could do in the older Lamborghini, but... I feel like over a race distance, um, being in the Evo is going to be a lot more beneficial. Um, it's just harder to bin as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, I hope you guys like that video, man. Um, let me actually quickly just share this setup with you that I made for this one. Um, this, is, this is actually the day it came out. I quickly put this setup together. Um, I could probably improve it. So, I... I I'm more than likely going to be making a, a hot lap video for this car. Probably have it out in a couple of days time. Um, yeah. Just a bit of a, a live video. I just wanted to uh, just test it quickly. And the, the differences between the cars, you can de I can I can notice it almost instantly. As soon as you hit the last corner, there's way more turning in in the in the um, Lambo Evo. Also, on the brakes, there's like no competition whatsoever. Um, you really, really have to trail brake so much in the old in the old Lambo. And you have to brake a little early because the car just doesn't slow down in time. On the Evo, the brakes are pretty good. Um, can brake. Can definitely brake later. Definitely brake later in the new Evo. And you don't really get the whole feeling of locking up um, the same way you do in the original Lamborghini. But... Um, also, I would say you can you can get the nose into corners a lot better, and you don't sort of have that that feeling of snap oversteer um, that you can get in the Lamborghini. The one thing I will say that I preferred about the older Lamborghini is um, coming into the last sector. I'll actually, show you on the replay. Coming into the last sector, um, sort of that little chicane, the quick change of direction, 
I feel like the old Lambo does it slightly better. I think we're coming up to that corner now. Yeah, this corner right here, for me, um, I prefer the old Lambo through here. But that's probably about the only place on the whole entire circuit where I'd say the old Lambo felt better. But um, yeah, if you guys like the video, remember to smash a like. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch TV if you want to catch all the live streams. Um, I'm always on Twitch, I'm always live streaming, doing something with cars, whether I'm doing um, online setups or whether I'm just racing, chilling online, I'm always, I'm always on Twitch. So make sure you jump over to my Twitch, um, follow if you haven't followed me already. And yeah, it's Crypto TMG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. Take care of yourselves and peace.